Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Uh, Richard back here again with another unboxing video and today it's the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray of Candyman from Arrow Video. Um, it's just, uh, just arrived and it's out on Monday in the UK. So let's get this open and have a look at it. So let's get a little neck in the shrink wrap. Okay. <clears throat> so it's the usual rigid outer slip box from Arrow. Um, the usual high quality, as you can clearly see. Try and get a good close up of the texture paper that they use. There you go. And there's the open side. Okay, so let's have a look at the back. Uh, I'm not going to say his name five times. You can pause that there if you wish. And this is what we're getting in this release. So it's a 4K restoration from the original negative, supervised and approved by the writer-director, Bernard Rose, and the director of photography, Anthony B. Richmond. It's a 4K presentation in Dolby Vision and HDR10 compatible, and there's two cuts of the film. The US R-rated version and the original UK theatrical version featuring alternative, uh, alternate more graphic footage, and it's presented here via seamless branching. Okay. So the audio here is original uncompressed stereo and a new Dolby Atmos surround option. Uh, there's a look at the bottom, 99 minutes, um, 2.0 and 7.1. So that's suggesting the Dolby Atmos track. <clears throat> um, behind that we have some nice artwork. Okay, so let's slide this out. There's a look at the rigid slip case that they use, slip box. Inside we have a book, which is um, quite solid. Poster and the keep case. So there's a look at the keep case. And inside we have some art cards, so, and a booklet. Okay, so, that's the card this month. There is reverse artwork as well on this keep case, so. <clears throat> Let's have a look at it. There you go. It's quite similar to, to the uh, Laserdisc cover that I had. <clears throat> okay, so here's the booklet. Copyright 22. So, information about the UK theatrical version. So, when it's released in the UK, the film contained a different cut uh, of the psychiatrist scene from what appeared in the US version. The UK version continued to appear on UK VHS and Laserdisc, but was later replaced by the US version cut for DVD release in all territories. So Arrow have investigated all relevant uh, materials at Universal and Sony 
because Tristar was the original US distributor in the hopes of finding the original preprint elements for this alternative scene. But neither studio had any records of this version. <clears throat> but it goes on to say that they eventually got what they looked for. So more information on the transfer. So Candyman has been restored by Turbine Media in Germany in collaboration with Arrow Films and Shout Factory. Uh, the film is presented in its original aspect ratio and stereo mix as well as a newly remixed Dolby Atmos track. So the film is restored in 4K and Dolby Vision uh, at LSP Medium in Germany. The reference for grading it was Arrow's restored 2K master approved by the director. Um, original stereo mix was remastered at Deluxe Audio Services Hollywood and the Dolby Atmos mix was provided by Shout. So Shout is responsible for the Dolby Atmos track on this Arrow release. So important stuff, UHD encoding by Fidelity in Motion, who are top class. Um, some names there for Turbine, Arrow and Shout. And Fidelity in Motion is David McKenzie again. Okay, so this is going to be a stellar release. We all know that. So let's have a look at the cards. There's stuff on the back. Okay, I am going to put this disc in the player. It won't be a video review, just going to have a look at the menus and have a look at the bit rates uh, and see how it checks out. Um, post the next. So the white artwork. That's quite a good photograph of the bee. Or the wasp. Wasp. That's quite nice. Um, what is it, bees? Mm. And onto the booklet. Okay, these are the Bernard Rose storyboards. They are bees. I was right the first time. <clears throat> so, quite a nice package overall. Uh, just like in the last um, Arrow Double Dip. I have got the Blu-ray version here as well. So, let's have a quick look at that before I put it into the player. So, we've got the 4K on the left. And the Blu-ray on the right. So we lose the Iron logo on this one. And we gain the new BBFC logo over the old BBFC logo. Okay, underneath. The sides. So the new release has a universal logo. And there's the open side. So, <clears throat> look on the back. So this was used for grading the new 4K release so they could get the colours right. So on the Blu-ray set, it was a US R-rated version on disc one and disc two was the original UK theatrical version. This new edition has both versions on one disc. I did mean to check as well. <clears throat> Let's 
let's see what disc they've given us actually. Yeah, it's a triple layer, so it's a 100 gig disc, so plenty of room for the movie to breathe. Um, there's a close up of the disc. Okay, so quick look at what we got in the Blu-ray set. So, poster, the same. Booklet. The same. Art cards. The same. Same reverse artwork. Same booklet. Bit about the UK theatrical version on there. And a bit about the transfer. So the Blu-ray was exclusively restored by Arrow. No mention of anyone else involved with this release. And the new 5.1 mix was remastered at uh, Deluxe Audio Services Hollywood. So <clears throat> on this new release, the 4K release, you don't get this 5.1 track. That is exclusive to the Blu-ray. And you've got disc one, uh, sorry, disc two, which is the UK. And disc one, which is the US R rated. So that is that I'm just gonna quickly put this in the player um, and we'll have a look at the bit rates and have a look around the menu systems okay so just put the disc in we'll check it out Okay, can't skip that. Okay, so this is the menu. Straight away you get a selection choice. Do you want the US R rated or the UK theatrical version? So just gonna go on to special features. Um, and that's what we've got here. So a good selection of features. Uh, the setup, yeah, we do lose the 5.1 track, which was on the Blu-ray, so you've got your Dolby Atmos mix, and you've got your stereo mix, and also the commentary tracks. Okay, so I'm going to go into the film now, and I'm going to select the UK theatrical, and let's hit play. Okay, so straight away we're up to 101.3 megabytes a second, 102, 81, 89. Um, yeah, some pretty high values there. Okay, let it settle down. Okay, it's a 1000 nit mastered transfer, but unfortunately the information for the max CLL and the average light levels have been hidden, so we can't get access to those. Okay, the video is settling down high 80s, which I know HD movie source uh, Mark will be very happy with. Uh, likes the height video bit rate to um, to get a good detail of grain on the picture um, 
yeah, more bit rate, better resolution of the grain. Uh, really high values here. Okay, I'm going to skip on a chapter. Okay, it is staying really high. Um, very impressive. Okay, I'm going to switch to the stereo track, which is a English HD master audio track. Um, that is the bit rate that we get for that. So, a little bit low. And uh, let's go back to the Dolby Atmos track. And let's just see what the audio commentaries are. Well, they're Dolby Digital Stereo, uh, 112 kilobytes a second. And the second commentary is the same, 48 kilohertz encoded. So... That's the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please um, give us a like and comment down below. Are you going to be buying this release or are you going for the Shout Factory release or are you going for the German Turbine Media release? Um, be interesting to see what the encodes are like on those, but the bitrate on this one is extremely impressive. As you can see, it's still flying up to high 80s and 90s. Um, very, very good. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to hear from you in the comments. and. Um, please um, subscribe for more if this is um, your sort of thing. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.